try this again. Hello, GDQ Games Committee. Uh, my name is Jay Hobbs. I'm going to be submitting Crash 3 108% for your consideration here. I'll be doing some commentary without, all, or throughout, rather. Uh, I'll also be occasionally answering chat because I am live streaming this at the moment, but I'll be mainly focusing on the commentary. Uh, I want to stress that I'm still not amazing at this category um, because I haven't sat down and grinded a bunch of individual levels. Um, I do hold world record for any percent though, so I'm pretty confident that I could bring my time down by a significant margin, probably around the order of 20 minutes or so, um, in time for AGDQ. So, without further ado, let's get going in 3, 2, 1, go. First thing I'm going to start explaining immediately is that we have a sequence break coming up right away. We have gate clip. Uh, what's going to happen here is I'm going to pick up Coco from the computer because in this game they allowed Coco to be a playable character in most levels. I'm going to then swap to her and do a frame perfect trick with the computer <clears throat> to where I'm going to store a menu from the computer that says, hey, do you want to keep, do you want to leave Coco behind? Um, because of the existence of that menu, I can say, yes, I want to leave Coco behind while on an elevator, which will forcibly switch her away, and now she's in a glitch state where she can walk through walls but can't jump. Crash still can jump, so I'm swapping to him, swapping back after jumping across the gap, and now... Shifting into place, trying to find the right button. I think I'm on the right button, but it's hard to tell. We'll find out here in a moment. Crash. Yes! Okay, cool. I got in the right level. Um, so, that's obviously a very exciting trick to immediately kick the runoff with, which is one of the cool things about this. But on top of that, we're into a vehicle level that actually has some pretty tight cycles to it. Um, this first trip through isn't going to be too bad. The main thing is that we want to hit this plane. And, okay, cool, without him getting too far away. Now we have to break all the boxes. Because this is 108%, the main goals, basically the main things you have to do for 108%, is you have to get all of the boxes in every level, you have to beat all the bosses, you have to get all of the crystals, and you have to get the gold relic, or gold time trial, from every level. So, uh, we're doing, we did this sequence break to come into this level first, because... There are a few levels that we're going to want to do out of order, and the way that bosses spawn is they check for how many crystals you have. So coming to a level like this, which requires a vehicle so we can't speed it up with any of the, the upgrades that you get throughout the game, coming to a level like this first means that we can get a crystal that is going to be the, take the same amount of time to do no matter when you do it, and that'll allow us to do some levels out of order later. Um, in a more favorable order for us, basically. So now I just finish off this plane, and we have gotten our first crystal and gem. I would actually probably lean pretty heavily on my couch commentators for this opening section, both for that gate clip trick that I explained and during this first level, because there's a lot to explain about this run right at the beginning. Now, the next trick I'm going to do is I'm going to try to jump back in this portal as it's closing. This is very tight timing to do, um, and requires using a buffered slide jump, so let's try to do it. Nice. I didn't mean to do that spin there, but that worked out fine anyways. So that's very tight timing. I do that about um, 20 times throughout the entire run, and if I get all of them, that saves me about 40 seconds over the course of the run. So, pretty important time save to get. Now, this is incredibly difficult. I have to... Um, do have very precise aiming if I want to catch the fastest cycle here. Ah, uh, that might have been too slow. We'll find out. Okay, I think I'm good. So, that second plane gets pretty far away from you there. Um, one of the changes when they moved this game to PC was that they actually made this game 60 FPS, which is great for speedrunning because it's made a lot of the tricks significantly easier or um, just more applicable to different areas, and we'll get into that later. Um, but it has made some cycles different. Most of the cycles are actually pretty favorable, but a cycle like this one actually became harder, and that's why I was very worried about making that. Getting a 4078 is pretty good. You can potentially get a sub 40, but only by a little bit. So you can see I still got the Platinum Relic time, so that's good. 
I mentioned that we need to get all gold relics in this run. There are sapphire, gold, and platinum relics. These are your bronze, silver, and gold in, you know, most other games. And that just determines how well you do in the time trial. All of the gold relics, if you get all of them, will give you an additional gem, which adds on 1% to your final percentage. So that's why we need to get gold or better for all of them. We don't have to necessarily worry about platinum. Obviously, we still want to do every time trial as fast as we can, but there are some times where we're specifically not going to get platinum, and I'll try to call those out. Now into our first motorcycle level. Uh, it may be a little, it may seem a little weird, but I'm actually going to uh, completely ignore the boxes my first trip through this level. That's actually because we need to do the time trial for this level, and we have to get some of the boxes during the time trial anyways, because they turn into time boxes and we need those time boxes in order to make sure that we get the gold relic time. So, since I have to get some of the boxes in the time trial anyways, I might as well get all of the boxes in the time trial and just not have to worry about them during the first pass through this level, so that way I can try to treat this, um, <clears throat> treat this, you know, race as an any percent run of this level effectively and do all of the fastest strats. So for example, I'm going to be able to carry a boost past these two ramps here, which normally I would have to stop and get those boxes, but because I don't need to worry about the boxes now, I was able to carry that boost significantly further. Ooh, that was a little close. Uh, that was a little risky to go around the right side of that cop there. The main trick with motorcycle levels is that you want to carry these boosts as long as possible. They will only drop when you release acceleration for a moment or run into something um, or run off of the road. So, for example there, if that cop cycle had been a little bit more favorable, I could have gone around him and carried the boost, but because it wasn't, I had to go around. Now a few ramps at the end here with some boost, and we took first place in this race, which means we're going to get the crystal. <clears throat> there are 25 crystals in the game. Every five crystals you unlock a new boss, so since we've done Mad Bombers and Orange Asphalt, I now have two crystals, and that's going to be very important for the routing. The other advantage of getting crystals is that it unlocks the time trial, it unlocks the relic for a level. And back in the portal as it's closing. Again, very tight timing every time I do that. The routing is pretty much staged so that you do as many levels back to back as you can. Um, that way you can jump back into the portal like that. Alright, so now I'm going to try to get all the boxes. This is actually pretty difficult to do in the motorcycle levels. Um, because you have to worry about the enemy racers, and you have to worry about the hazards, and all that. And you're still trying to carry boosts as fast as, or as far as you can, so. See, okay, good. I was able to carry that boost and still get those boxes. But this guy's going to hit me, and that's going to slow me down. Unfortunate, but at least I didn't miss a box because of it. You actually cannot turn around with the motorcycle. So if you ever miss a box, you have to completely restart the level. Alright, so now I'm I'm on a weird cycle. I'm, I'm very far behind where I normally would be because of all those mistakes. So because of that, the cop cycles are going to be weird, and these enemy racers are going to be in, in unusual spots. Now, it seems so far like they're playing pretty nice, so we might be fine. But this cop might be a jerk. Nope. I need to drop that boost in order to hit both of these ramps and get both those boxes. Now we're going to take this turn as best as we can. Nice. That was pretty good. Only a couple more boxes left. Uh, six to be exact, but several of them are at the very end. There's one that is very difficult in this level that is uh, coming up shortly. That I have to just be a little focused for. Can I get around this cop? Oh, almost. I was almost able to carry that boost. Alright, so I'm going to get this box without hitting the ramp. It's just a little faster. I'm going to drop that boost just a little early, play it a bit safe. Wouldn't want to do, wouldn't want to repeat a level like this in a marathon, so. Alright, there we go. We got the gem and the gold time trial time. <clears throat> yeah, we even got the platinum. That is probably the easiest of the three motorcycle levels to get the time trial for, um, but it does have those hard boxes, so. Move on now. We're going to be leaving warp 5. It seems a little weird. Why come in here for just these two levels? Well, like I said, 
we can't speed those up via the in-game power-ups that you get. So we might as well get rid of them now, and then we'll come back later for uh, in order to do the levels as fast as possible. Doing a little fast uh, slide spinning technique there called hob sliding. Um, explained that during my AGDQ 2018 performance. We'll get into that a little bit later. <clears throat> All right, now we're into our first tiger level. These are notoriously really easy to miss boxes on, especially when you're trying to go fast. So these are probably ones that I would put a ton of practice in into um, before a marathon run. Like if this got accepted, I would put in quite a bit of practice into these levels to make sure that I get got them consistently. I would also probably take things just a little bit safer here and there, slowing down um, just to be safe. But whenever possible, I'm trying not to slow down. I do have to slow down occasionally just to make some turns, but for the most part, I can try to get as many of these without slowing down. Uh, okay, that jump always scares me. Alright, sweet. That went really well. <clears throat> Luckily, even if you do miss a box, you get another attempt at this because of the time trial. But it's, uh, it's a lot nicer not have to worry about that. Once again, we're going to go right back into this level, which means I'm going to have to do another one of those jumps into the portal as it's closing. Uh, what I'm really doing here is I'm pressing slide and then triangle to skip the dance animation. And this is going to buffer my slide, and then I have to jump with good timing. Excellent. If I let myself slide a little too long, I'll press the, the button in front of me, even if it's the button for the level that I'm trying to go into. Uh, I'll press the button in front of me, and I won't be able to get into the portal. And if I do it not long enough, then I won't get enough distance with the slide. Oh, crap. <laughs> Missed the clock. All right, first big mistake of the run. Well, not even that's not even big. Just going to get back on the tiger here and grab the clock. Deceptively difficult to hit them sometimes. I've actually run right through them, which is always funny. Now, I have to get a few time boxes in this level, but I don't have to get a ton. So I'm going to never stop boosting throughout this level. And uh, I also do some things where I like jump around the, the barrels like you saw there. Oh god. Alright, slowed down there because I got a, uh, a little glitch where I get a high jump despite going for a short jump. But yeah, other than that, I'm trying to cut corners as much as possible. Jump around barrels and stuff like that. Just saving frames here and there. And we should be totally fine on the time. Yep, beat it by about four seconds. I think in order to kind of sell this for an audience, we would probably have a you know list of all of the times that I need to get. And for any of the ones that are going to be fairly tight or close, we'd have the couch commentary let everybody know as I'm going into the level, hey, here's the time on the in-game timer that he's shooting for. That way they can see, oh, he you know beat it by a mile, or oh, wow, he barely got it. Makes things a little more exciting. <clears throat> Alright, I swear we're almost done with the vehicle levels, like, for this initial bit. Uh, we're going into making waves now. There is a, still a lot of tech to these levels, but uh, some people don't like them as much as the platforming. This is our first jet ski level, one of, I think, four that we'll be doing. Um, I am going to, again, like with Orange Asphalt, the motorcycle level we did earlier, I'm going to completely ignore all the boxes right now. I'm just going to keep moving through and try to go as fast as I can, basically. Uh, I can, again, the same reasoning applies as before. I can actually get all of the boxes during the time trial and still beat the gold time, uh, so I might as well do that. One of the interesting things about the jet ski levels is that I tend to not get a lot of checkpoints in them, um, which can be a little scary, which is kind of neat. It means that if I ever mess up too bad, I'll get sent all the way back to the beginning. Uh, but again, I'm not too. I'm already not very worried about that happening. So, in terms of a marathon performance, I would have grinded out even more consistency um, to make sure that that was something that wouldn't be possible to occur. We can talk a little bit more about the multi-platform release here and why this is already a pretty like slightly, or not even slightly, a pretty different showing from what you saw last year at AGDQ 2018. 
Um, again, apart from this just being the full completion category for this game, uh, also, we have significantly shorter load times. Like, we, we saved on the order of, like, 10 minutes or something like that from load times. Um, you can tell that, like, they used to be 10 to 15 seconds long, and now they're significantly shorter. Uh, I'm going to focus here for a moment. Nice. Uh, but on top of that, 60 FPS makes the main platforming technique, hop sliding, much more consistent. It makes it much easier to do. Still a very difficult trick, but um, significantly easier than it used to be. On top of that, it also applies in more places now. Uh, just some something with the way that the physics work in 60 FPS has made that trick significantly better for the speedrun now and turns a lot more levels into flying through them quickly, a lot of the platforming ones. We're coming up to those pretty soon. We've got another, um, not really vehicle level, but we've got an underwater level after this, and then we'll be getting into the platforming stuff. Had to slow down just a little bit there. Oh, and I unfortunately missed this box. So we're going to turn around. Turning around is like the slowest thing here. Oh, I just realized that's going to make me miss the timer probably, so I'm just going to restart. No big deal. Again, something that I would polish up for consistency. You'll notice that I'm probably going to be a lot uh, better at the, the like, any percent passes through levels. And my uh, box breaking techniques and stuff, that's where I'll put in a lot of practice time um, before January. Hello, Meister. Just doing a... Uh, commentary run through here. Alright, there we go. That's how it's supposed to go. Now, because I restarted there, um, which effectively acts the same as if I had taken a death, that actually uh, changes the cycles for pretty much everything in the level. Uh, all of the bombs that are moving, all the cannonballs that are shooting, all of the rowboats that are moving, all of that stuff um, spawns on a cycle from the moment the game loads in the level, like from, all right, from the moment the level is completed, or, uh, has finished loading and, and starts playing. Once you take a death or restart a time trial, when you spawn back at the beginning, you actually play less of an animation before you start moving, which means that all of the cycles are different, because normally when you're coming into a level, you see a, a big, like, warp portal that you pop out of and all that and it takes a lot more time so the cycles are all in a different place. So that's something that you have to be aware of with a category of this length because you're bound to make mistakes here and there. Uh, it's really important to be able to know how to respond to death cycles effectively. Also my upstairs neighbors appear to be hammering something or something. I, I don't know. Sorry if you hear any background noise from that every now and then. But whatever, we got our gold relic there, and we got our uh, gem, so now we're going to head into Under Pressure. After this, we are going to be fighting a boss after we do um, Under Pressure a couple times. First, thing, first things first, though, I'm going to be focusing really hard on getting an early cycle in this level. This is another level that I would rely on commentators, like couch commentators, um, to help me out, because I have to do a lot of focus, so I am going to actually stop talking for the rest of this and see if I can still make it. Two, three... Ah, uh, didn't quite make it, but that's okay. It's a very fast death, so kind of easy to go for. Unfortunate, but like I said, normally I would be focusing on um, on the level and get some assistance from my couch for commentary. But as you can see, the main movement for the underwater levels is just spinning and then canceling that spin with a flipper kick. Uh, and then repeating that process over and over and over again. Some runners prefer to mash square and X to accomplish that. I actually time the two. All right, good, I got back into that portal. Now you'll notice it shows that Tiny was the only button, the Tiny Tiger boss fight was the only button there in the 
first warp room. That's because we have five crystals already. But I want to complete this level to save those two seconds, so... <clears throat> this is also our first, like, really tight time trial. I have to get uh, underneath a 110.9 in order to get the gold uh, time trial here, while also getting all of the boxes, so that's something that's very difficult to do. And uh, once again, I'm going to focus pretty hard on this. Oh, crap. Alright, that's gonna... It's still possible, but that's gonna make it harder. Okay. Yeah, we're... We're in danger now, but we're gonna see. Alright, I'm doing this part a little bit more smoothly than usual. The speeder, like... Responds pretty poorly, honestly. Uh, it's, like, kind of a weird to control. So that's part of what makes this so difficult to do. The other part that sucks is that I have to wait down here. Okay, we made it by a second. <laughs> very, very close. Whew. That is hard to do. <clears throat> It, you can see in my PB, I uh, messed that up quite a bit. Hello, Yolt. How are you doing? Uh, nothing yet, Clack, but I'm working on this one now. Alright, so, with that, we've got five crystals, and uh, we're going to head into our first boss fight here. You'll notice I still haven't done two of the levels from this warp room. Um, we're actually going to continue doing them immediately after this boss fight, but we could potentially save them for later, and we are going to do that with some other le levels. <clears throat> so this boss fight's like pretty simple. Um, it's actually kind of nice that we get to skip this in any percent now. Uh, that is something that has changed since the last time this was shown at a uh, GDQ. But bosses do count for percentage, so we have to do them in 108%. Fun thing that you can do though is stand in that corner, which in the original game was a spot where you could cheese the fight. Developers left it in this version and they made the audience throw cheese at you as a nice little reference of like, hey, we know what you're doing. So, always get to show that off, which is fun. Now after I beat the boss here, after I hit him for the third time, a power up is going to spawn. The location in which that power-up spawns is based off of your position, the boss's position, and the boss's angle um, that he's facing. So we specifically do that pattern at the end in order to make sure that the power-up always spawns in the center uh, so that I can have it land directly on Crash. And with that we're going into our first Yay. platforming level, yay! <laughs> This run starts with a bunch of vehicle levels, but I think that's still interesting because a lot of them are very difficult to do fast. Um, now, with platforming comes the trick called hob sliding. I explained this at AGDQ 2018, uh, but basically it's doing a slide spin and then a jump to start a slide or to uh, to be land on a surface while spinning, basically, and then that uh, allows you to have a pretty high rate of speed um, that you get to just carry as long as you keep doing perfectly buffered slide spins. Uh, as you can see, you can carry them while breaking boxes and everything. You can change directions while doing them. It's It makes the platforming really difficult and interesting, um, and I really like doing it. They're named after me because I found them, uh, but I did not name them that. <laughs> That was the first bonus platform of the run. Uh, the bonus platforms are pretty iconic to Crash, and I would probably come up with some better bonus platform strats to make them even more interesting than they already are. Some of them already have pretty good strats, but others have just not had a lot of time put into them yet, at least not by me. So keep that in mind when watching the rest of the bonus platforms. Ah, 
Unfortunately, the texture on the wall there uh, actually stopped my hob slide, which is a thing that can happen, but isn't very common. It's a matter of just knowing which walls you have to avoid, which spots throughout the level you have to avoid. All right, we're gonna go right back into that level once again and do the time trial. So I'm gonna have to do another um, jump back into the portal, and there we go. We could save these time trials for later, but uh, it's actually going to be faster to do them now than it would be once we got the um, Death Tornado Spin power up later. Some levels are faster with hob sliding, some are faster with Death Tornado Spin, um, and we'll get into that a little bit later, I guess. All right. <clears throat> this is a level where you don't really have to worry about the time. As long as you're doing this technique, you're going to beat it by a mile. So uh, you don't have to worry about getting the gold time or even the platinum time. It, it's going to be really easy. The important thing to do, though, is that I got two masks when I came through this level the first time. And uh, I wanted to get two masks once again when I come through the second time in the time trial. The main reason for that is that uh, when you get three masks, you get invulnerability, which is really useful for breaking boxes very quickly, uh, as well as just running over hazards and stuff like that. And the way masks carry through time trials is a little bit weird. Um, basically, you can only leave a time trial with up to as many masks as you entered it with. So because I entered the to Toad Village time trial with two masks, I can leave it with up to two. But in some cases, if I enter with only zero masks, then I cannot gain any additional additional ones during the time trial. Now, the only boxes I'm caring about breaking in this backwards section are the checkpoint boxes, because the uh, dino will actually break all the others. But now I'm no longer in the dino section, so I have to break all the boxes myself. And here's our first invulnerability. It's useful for plowing right through the TNT, as well as I can uh, plow, I can actually break a box in mid-air coming up here because you have an extended hitbox upwards. So that is what makes this uh, triple mask really useful. I think. All right, second bonus platform here. This one has a really good flow to it, I think. And even then, this I still haven't put like a lot of practice into it or anything. But yeah, I don't know. I just always like the way that that one looks. Super fun to move through. <clears throat> Start up a new hob slide off of that platform just to get up to here. And then we got a few more boxes to break here. And now I'm going to try to get a hob slide off of this triple stack of boxes. Ah, I messed it up, but it's very difficult to do, and it's uh, it's kind of neat. You basically break the bottom two boxes, and then you bonk your head on the top one, which effectively does the same thing as landing on a ledge. Um, and so because of that, you're able to still get a hob slide off of it. So I'm going to grab my gem here. You have to be really careful there to not accidentally like slide off before the you get the gem, uh, because then you'd have to redo the whole level. So that's pretty good, other than I messed up the hob slide at the end. Not a big deal. And now we're actually not going to do the time trial for that level yet. That's because you see how there's two gems up there? We can actually wait on the time trial and get the gem at the same time, the other gem. So we'll be doing that much later. Like, it's actually one of the last things we do in the run. It's very, very late. But now we're into G-Wiz, another platforming level. You'll see this pattern of we do a lot of platforming levels together, and then we do a lot of um, vehicle levels together, and that's for the mask routing. The, those uh, steel-looking boxes are body slam boxes, which are... Um, Really, it's why it's really nice to have triple mask here, because instead of having to spend the long animation of body slamming, you can just plow right through them with the invulnerability. Uh, whoops. 
these medieval stages are fantastic for getting hop sliding because you can just activate them almost anywhere. Another vulnerability here. All right, well, <laughs> I said you can activate them almost anywhere, right? Almost anywhere. <laughs> there we go. It's not a big deal uh, because you have the triple mask for so long and then you go onto this bonus platform. But. All right, now this is one of my favorite bonuses as a really neat strat. Starts off with just breaking a bunch of boxes. And then... Bam! I love that. And you get the triple stack hob slide at the end. Super cool bonus. I even bounced a few extra times. I would, that's just something I would... Again, I would probably have my couch commentators talking there so I could focus. But it's just very flashy looking. Then we do a little bit more hob sliding at the end here. Handled that a little bit awkwardly, but that's fine. And then, uh, yeah, those green detonators actually blow up, or the green metal boxes, they blow up all nitro throughout the level, so you'll see those all over the place. Gonna jump back into this portal again as it's closing. Yes, that was a little close. I didn't think I got that one. Like I said, very tight timing on that. Now we gotta get the time trial, and once again, I have two masks, I enter the time trial, it takes away my masks. So now I want to still pick up two masks throughout this level. It's not crucial for this level because um, the next couple levels we do, we're about to start doing some vehicle levels again. But later on in the run, it's gonna be super important um, to where we have like a dozen levels in a row where we want to chain our masks. So it's something to, that I like bringing up this early in the commentary. You'll notice I can skip some of these pits with hop sliding. It's really neat. Also tough to do. Something that we would probably highlight a lot more during the actual run. There we go. So yeah, I... I have to get a 122.73 in order to get the gold there. So you can tell, beat it by just a little bit. <laughs> Alright. Now we're going into Midnight Run. Um, the reason I still cared about getting those masks is that you actually can take them into Tiger levels. So I might as well have them for safety. But they're not... Um, they're not, like, necessary for the route. <clears throat> this is our second and final tiger level. They actually get rid of... They, they get both of them out of the way pretty quickly. Um, and we have to slow down a lot more for this one. So this is probably a prime place for donations during a marathon run. Because while it does still, like, look pretty interesting, there's not a lot to it. I'm going to slow down when I need to. I'm going to occasionally get screwed over by bonking my head on a box like that and uh, that's pretty much all there is to it so okay that was because the game wouldn't let me jump interesting happens every now and then. ah missed the box luckily that was the best box I could have missed because it was immediately after a checkpoint there we go Similar to the um, the motorcycle levels, you can't turn around with the with Pura the Tiger, so you just have to die if you make a mistake. Not a big deal though. So we're gonna head back in and do the time trail. Once we get a little further into this run, we're not going to quite do as many level time trial, level time trial back to back. Um, and that's because there are just more gems in the later levels. I totally forgot to enter the portal again, because <laughs> I was talking. Um, 
But yeah, I, I should have done the same thing where I enter the portal as it closes. But now you can see what you do if you uh, if you don't do that. Why it saves a little bit of time. <clears throat> now in this one, uh, I actually don't have to get any time trial boxes that are out of my way. So I'm never going to worry about any of them, basically. I'm just going to do the level as fast as possible. Cutting corners whenever I can. Trying to keep the straightest line that I can throughout the level. So that I'm running for like the least amount of distance. I also jump up hills. I'm not 100% certain whether jumping up, up hills actually matters or not. But I like doing it just because I think it, it, uh, it helps a little bit. There we go. Yeah, we still beat that one by a lot, so... So, you'll be able to see what I was talking about with the masks here. I started this time trial with zero masks, right? Because I lost both of them during the last time through the level. So, but I ended it with one mask. But because I started the time trial with zero, I'm gonna pop out of this warp portal with zero masks. See, no Aku Aku masks with me. You can never gain additional masks during a time trial. You can only get up to as many as you entered with. Thank you everybody in chat who's been popping in and saying good luck and everything, by the way. Just focusing on the commentary here. Alright, so like the other motorcycle level, we're going to ignore the boss, the boxes on this first pass. This motorcycle level has a pretty difficult strat to do, something that got a little bit easier with the PC version, which is very convenient for me. Uh, I am going to try to take this boost that I've got going right now and carry it through the entire level. Mm, I don't think I got it, yeah. I couldn't quite line up to my setup um, in time there. Probably another level where I would let my couch commentary take over, so that I could just focus on getting that set up. But I would have had that boost all the way through all of this garbage, all the way up to this boost pad, at, at which point it's the same from here. So you can see how it's uh, pretty convenient. That's going to lose me about five seconds. Nothing like major, but it's a nice, you know, difficult strat to kind of hype up. Not sure what you were referring to, uh, Cam. Alright, so once again, hopping into that portal as it's closing allows me to finish off this level before actually doing the boss. The cutscene there actually plays thinking that you're entering the boss, because they didn't think that you could get back in that portal. But I'm able to put off the boss just a little bit longer, just saving that extra two seconds from having to activate that uh, portal manually. Now I gotta get all these boxes. This one's not too difficult. Um, this is probably... This one's probably the easiest of the three to get all the boxes in. Uh, there's still some difficulty to trying, trying to go fast, but there aren't as many boost pads, so you can't, like, carry as many boosts. Once you go off of a ramp like that, it will drop your boost automatically. I want to skip that second ramp. And that was... Uh, Oh no, this is the last box, yeah. That's the last box, so... Yeah, there's not a whole lot to this one. You'll notice I can run into the sides of the enemy racers and everything is fine. Uh, I just can't run into the backs of them. If I run into the back of them, then it, I actually slow down. And oh no, I missed the, the gem! You, you still get the gem. In most levels, you actually, if you miss the gem and enter the portal, you will not keep the gem, but... Motorcycle levels, you can completely miss them and everything's fine. Ah, okay. So, heading into our second boss here. This is the shortest boss of the run. <clears throat> Pretty much the best for speed running. Uh, one of the techniques that I've been using occasionally that I haven't really described yet is something called glitch high jumps. Uh, and basically that's just doing a slide jump to do a high jump and spinning immediately after the slide jump starts. Doing that gets you a little extra height, which allows you to completely break this boss. <laughs> you can just jump over all these crystals and go straight to it. 
This is something. One, two, three, four. This is something that was actually in the original. Uh, glitch high jumps were, in fact, a glitch in the original game, and so they added them intentionally in the remake. So I wait just a little bit at the beginning of each phase because I know that his hitbox is not active right away. Then I position myself in a precise location, slide spin twice in a, in a specific direction once the penguin shows up, and uh, that lets me end up right where the power-up's going to be, and then I know where the portal's going to be too. Lots of very minor optimizations there, all leading um, to a very fast boss fight. And now, uh, <clears throat> and now after having finished that boss, I have the ability to double jump. Double jump is actually really useful for platforming, as you might expect. <laughs> that noise is because I got a sub. Thank you very much, Matt Rasblast, for the Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate it. All right, so this is the uh, first of three, uh, like, kind of secret levels that are in the Warp 6. You unlock these levels by doing a certain number of time trials apiece. Um, this is the one that you unlock for beating five time trials. All of three of these levels can be done with only one um, pass through them, rather than having to do a bunch. Uh, that's because they don't have a crystal in them, so their time trial clock exists from the very get-go. So I'm going to try to one-cycle this level where I get all the boxes and the gold time trial at the same time. Uh, and that is going to be fairly difficult because this is a pretty perilous level, one that's just easy to, to die on. Um, and on top of that, there are a few spots where boxes are hard to get uh, and it would be very easy for me to miss them. There's a little bit of leeway here. And again, this is one of those levels that I would spend a lot of time working on consistency, even though I'm already pretty good at this one. Um, but it certainly is a moment that we'd want to like kind of hype up during a marathon. <clears throat> uh, during these jet ski levels, I'm also kind of moving back and forth, kind of slaloming back and forth whenever I can. Uh, that just turns out to be a little bit faster for some reason. Gonna slow down just a moment to get there. I'm actually gonna skip this next box because that one box will uh, be taken out by the nitro. Do a quick little movement through there. And now we're coming up onto some bomb cycles that are not generally very kind to me. We'll see how they are today. All right, cool. I got through them. I like to keep this mask for safety and for some potential damage boost. Get our second one here. Note that whenever you're in a time trial, there are no checkpoints. So if I were to die, that would be very bad. Now let's see if we can get both of these. Ah, uh, yeah, so that's probably the most sucky part about this, is it's hard to get both of these boxes in one pass on the ramp. You can do it, but it's very, very difficult. I should still be able to get the one cycle though, even with that mistake. That was a little close because I almost missed the thing there, but. All right, now I'm gonna try to land on these boxes. Didn't quite get both of them, but I have the masks to save me, so we're fine. And last boxes. I need to beat, I believe, a 53. So I still beat that by a lot. But it's very easy to, to just, you know, kind of wait on cycles all over the place. Uh, and then you end up, you know, quickly not making your time trial so pretty good though got the first out of the three one cycles up in warp six here i'm also going to enter level 27 right now um level 27 is actually just a secret entrance a, an alternate area for level seven um not you know there's not that much to it um you'll notice i'm still playing as coco that's just preference i'm probably going to take a death here we'll see yeah, so this guy sucks, <laughs> uh, and uh, once you've died once, his cycle's a lot nicer, and a lot of the cycles in this level get nicer, so. Double jump there, because I wasn't confident. So you'll see, like, anytime you're seeing me do this uh, high jump with the spin, that's doing a glitch high jump. I'm getting a little extra height um, than a normal high jump. And we got our yellow gem. We're gonna leave the level now. I believe that's our first colored gem. 
if I'm not mistaken. Colored gems open up alternate paths in other levels, and that's why we've had to do these levels, um, that's why we did that warp 5 clip a lot earlier on. Uh, because we want to skip some of the levels here now, in warp 2. Uh, whoops, I want to go in here. Forgot that I've rerouted this, so I'm just going to skip a couple splits here. <clears throat> but yeah, so there's actually a level, Tomb Time, in Warp 2 that we don't want to do yet. Because that level uh, has a purple gem route in it. And the purple gem route is... We, we don't have the purple gem yet, so... And there's boxes, like, in that route that we actually have to worry about. So, that's why we got those additional crystals early on in Warp 5, so that way we could not have to complete all of Warp 2 before moving on to the rest of the game. So now I'm sitting here in Warp 3 in, our, in another motorcycle level, uh, and I can come back to Warp 2 later when we have the purple gem. We'll also have different movement upgrades when we come back there later, which will make that level significantly faster. Alright, so, like the other motorcycle levels, I'm going to wait to do the boxes until the time trial. So far my movement has been okay throughout this level. I made a minor mistake early on. But all the cycles have lined up quite nicely, so that's good. I'm going to take an intentional slowdown here. That's just so that I can make this S-Bend. Uh, and now I'm in first place, so I just need to hold this lead. This is the level that I almost lost the race in um, at AGDQ 2018. Uh, but on PC, they have made, with again, with the 60 FPS change, um, it became much easier to control the motorcycle levels for some reason. So, very convenient change for us. Specifically, it got easier to control them uh, while boosting. Because you do intentionally lose some handling while boosting as kind of a risk-reward system. But it became a little bit nicer on the PC. Alright, so we're going to go back into that level again. The reason that I have this these uh, splits in a different order uh, will become apparent pretty soon. But we're going to jump back into the portal. Ah, yeah, unfortunately I, I nicked the uh, 13 button. So didn't quite jump back into the portal. Again, loses me about two seconds or so. Very tight timing. Now we're going to get the time trial on all the boxes. This is definitely... Both of these, um, like one one out of the two passes through Road Crash here would be a prime donation spot. I try to get around the left side of this guy. Uh, very hard to do. That's okay. Yeah, we would probably do donations during the first pass through this level, since the second one has a little bit more to focus on with the uh, boxes and everything. A little bit more to talk about. I went around the left side of that enemy racer, um, which was not not ideal. Hopefully it won't come back to be a problem, but it, it's looking like everything's okay so far. Good night to everybody in, in uh, chat who's, who's saying their goodbyes. Appreciate you hanging out. Alright, so now we gotta be a little careful. Okay, we're good. So I was a little worried about that um, because of where that that racer was, but we're good now. Another intentional slowdown. So you can already tell, like getting all those boxes, I was in first place before at this point. Um, I'm in second now. We're gonna take the lead here, but you can tell like it's significantly slower to have to get all the boxes, even when there aren't a lot of boost paths that are a problem or anything. Now, because of getting that box, I have to slow down here in order to make that turn. I don't think I'm going to quite... Yeah, I didn't quite do that turn properly, but that's fine. Not a major time loss. Small tap of the brake in order to make this turn. And there we go. Once again, I don't have to actually pass through the gem. It'll just give it to me.
so now I'm gonna enter this level for a third time. It seems very counter, or it seems very weird that we would do that because I've already gotten everything that I want to from this level. However, there is actually a secret level, a hidden level, uh, that I enter through this level. <clears throat> that um, the level that we're going to is hot cocoa. Ah, uh, I did it again. Like I said, it's it's tight, it's difficult. We're going to Hot Coco, which is another jet ski level. It's probably a lot of people's least favorite jet ski level, um, but we're going to make it look pretty interesting, I think. And uh, in order to get there, I have to take the secret entrance from this level. <clears throat> Coming up pretty soon. Luckily, it's very early on in this in this level. We don't have to like go up very far through it or anything. Um, hey, I got around that guy this time. That's nice. Uh, Coming up very soon, there's a bird that's going to start flying on a perch. Look at the left side. Here it is. There's the bird. He's going to fly into this sign that looks like an alien. And uh, so we run into that, and it just takes us to Hot Coco. Now, Hot Coco, Hot Coco is a pretty unique level in that it's not linear. It's like the only level in this uh, game that's not linear. Um, I'm going to... It has no crystal in it, so I can activate the time trial right away. Um, I'm getting the time trial so that I can get all of these boxes and then restart after getting the gem. Because I, I can't get all the boxes and get the gold uh, relic at the same time. It's just impossible. So uh, we're going to get them all, restart so that way we can stay in this level, and then get our time trial. If I were to not do this all in the time trial, then uh, I would have to go take the secret entrance from Road Crash once again, which would take a lot of time and is, you know, pretty slow. Uh, but, because I'm doing this all in the time trial, that means no checkpoints. There's, I think, two checkpoints normally in this level. And because this level isn't linear, you can actually activate them kind of whenever you want. I'm waiting on that cycle there, because like I said, I haven't, I haven't put a ton of practice yet into all of the 108 percent um, specific levels. So I would know the cycles a lot better before a marathon run. <clears throat> but uh, but yeah, so there you don't have to, or there are no checkpoints, um, so it makes it very scary. If I take a hit, there's also no masks. If I take a hit from anything, I am going to uh, be sent all the way back. I ex accidentally forgot this box in the water, so we're just going to get that real quick. Um, and we're going to come over here. There's a couple boxes we need to get here. <clears throat> the routing of this level is something that we'd be able to talk about during it. Um, I still don't know if the route I'm using is a great route or not. Uh, because, like I said, I haven't put a ton of time into these yet. I haven't grinded out the ILs. But that's something that I would certainly expect to do. Um, prior to the event, and then we would be able to talk about the interesting, you know, routing decisions for this level. For the most part, I'm just trying to do everything as smoothly as I can. Try to keep, you know, one continuous flow to it. I'm sure there's uh, some minor optimizations to be made here and there. I'm going to leave that box for later, because I'm going to come back this way. I normally grab it, but uh, we're, we're going to see if we're going to try out leaving it for later and see if it feels faster. Grab this box, and we're almost done. We got three left, I think. Four left. Yeah. Yep. Now we just got this one over here. Yeah, it's probably not faster to leave this. I probably should have gotten it earlier, but that's not a big deal. So now we're going to grab this gem and immediately restart the time trial. Now there's a glitch we get to do here to get the uh, to make getting the gold time trial a lot easier. I'm gonna focus. Ah. So I'm going to try to activate this nitro without getting blown up by it. Hey, there we go. Second try. Very nice. That's a a, a really difficult trick. Um, so getting it on the second attempt is fantastic. It's something I I would uh, be totally happy with in any even a PV situation. I'm happy getting it on the second attempt. Sometimes that can take me, like, 20 times. Another thing that I would practice a lot more. Alright. <clears throat> so with that, we can now go to Deep Trouble. So we got everything we needed from Hot Cocoa. Funny thing, they actually patched that, um... 
that Nitro skip, they actually patched that for consoles. Um, but when, like, when they made the PC version. But for PC, they left it in for some reason if you uh, grab the clock first. Not really sure why. Oh crap, I messed that up. Uh, we have to die. Yeah, we have to die. <laughs> that was a mistake. Not a big deal. <clears throat> I was getting my uh, regular cycle mixed up with the death cycle. So I did my pattern of boosting there just a little incorrectly. So you actually need the speeder to break any of these boxes that have that are wrapped in coral. Um, and so that's why once I once I lost the speeder there, I had to take a death. This level is all about cycles. Uh, and I don't know the cycles very well at all for 108%. That is, this is would be one of the um, levels I would practice the most uh, prior to a marathon. All right, here we go. That was that was nice at least. Um, getting that skip is a little difficult. Like not having a damage boost through there. All right, so I shouldn't have left that pufferfish alive. That was actually probably a mistake. Because I'm going to be backtracking through here. So I hit a box off screen there. I hit a metal box. Um, we're going to hope that this pufferfish isn't in the way. All right, there we go. Uh, we're backtracking here because that metal box spawns some more boxes. Oh, God. Okay. I could have probably gone for that, but I want to keep this mask. It's um, pretty important that I try to keep this mask. So the uh, metal box I hit before spawned all of those. And this is going to lead me down to where I can get the red gem. Once again, colored gems are usually at the ends of like harder paths or secret paths. This one is no exception. And there we go. You get the box gem, the crystal, and the red gem all at the same time. Oops. There we go. Hmm. I'm actually surprised. Oh, I'm, I am compared against some of us for a second. I was wondering. I was like, I don't think I'm behind. <clears throat> Alright. So we got all three of those things. We'll, uh, we're not going to come back to Deep Trouble immediately. Because, like I said, I picked up a mask there, and that mask count is pretty important. We're going to try to pick up a second mask in this level. And uh, and then we're going to try to kind of, you know, use the do the levels in a specific order to where we can utilize these masks. So there's my second mask. I have to make sure I don't take a hit for the entire level now. While also still trying to do this fast movement and break all the boxes. Little difficult task. It's it's nice that we kind of have this challenge um, added to uh, levels like this, which are otherwise not too difficult. Um, the TNT, once I hit that back there, it, it blows up all those other boxes. And oh, nice! I got that snipe on the TNT from the goat. That is a strat that I only uh, realized exist existed like yesterday, so I'm really glad that that happened. Alright. I've dropped a few hop slides here and there in this level so far, but it's been pretty good otherwise. Alright. Uh, I don't really remember the super fast strats for this uh, bonus, so this is a bonus that'll look significantly better. Uh, once I put more practice into it. Uh, did I just do that? I, yeah, like I said, I don't really remember. <laughs> Apologies. The main thing is just, uh, with TNT boxes, knowing that you don't need to break any of the ones right around it. Start a new hob slide. 
hitting uh, stacks of two boxes with hobslides um, and not breaking your flow is something that's pretty difficult. See, like that one I got, but uh, it takes a lot of practice. Here I have to stop anyways because I need to get that crystal. Alright. Nice. I actually don't often come out of this level with two masks. So even though it wasn't quite the fastest that it could have been, it's really, really nice that I left with two masks. <clears throat> now I'm going to go right back into the same level once again. Okay. I, I missed the last few of those, so I'm glad I got that one. And we're going to do the time trial now. Now, once again, I'm entering this time trial with two masks. Uh, and there are, luckily... Hello? There we go. I think my controller disconnected. Give me a moment. Okay. That was very odd. Not sure what happened there. Um, that should be fine. I don't think we're going to have a problem beating the, the gold time. Uh, but yeah, we want to grab another mask here, so that way we can leave this level with two. I'll keep an eye on the uh, time to make sure that there isn't a problem there, but yeah, that was really weird. I'm not sure why my controller disconnected. Barely rode on the edge of the, the land there. I'm glad I didn't fall in a hole. <clears throat> I like to, to equate um, doing these hop slides with, like, driving an out-of-control car. Um, you know, car with, like, no brakes. So, uh, or controlling an, an out-of-control car, I guess. So, it's pretty easy to to mess up and fall in a pit somewhere. Yeah, normally I would get a platinum there, so... <laughs> the fact that I, uh, that my controller disconnected, that was weird. Made me get a gold, but we persevere, we move on. And now, I'm going to still have two masks. I can go into Dynamite with two masks. That's really, really nice. Because Dynamite is a level um, that has a lot of obstacles right at the beginning, uh, but also has a mask right at the beginning of it. So if I can get invulnerability, then I can power through all these obstacles instead of having to stop my hob slide. Because like I said, you need a place to set up a new hob slide whenever you start one. So there we go, we start one off there. That's actually a very difficult one to do. Now I can move very far with this one, because I'm able to just go straight over the lava. And I get that that uh, triple stack there, which is really nice. Now I'm going to skip by this checkpoint intentionally right now. That's because I'm going to do some backtracking here. Ooh, that sucked. Uh, I'm actually going to go back and get another hop slide there, because that was not good. Alright, so this is something that I have not put a lot of time into. So this backtracking section would look significantly better um, with a bit of practice. But basically I'm going to try to do a lot of hob sliding during it. For now, I'm going to take um, the dinosaur here though, Baby T. During the actual marathon, I would be hob sliding during this backtracking section. But I want to play it a bit safe since I haven't put in a lot of the time yet. Baby T effectively gives you another hit, and I want to try to hold on to these masks if I can. Alright, now I am going to lose him intentionally there, and we're going to go on to this gem path here. So, inside this gem path is another gem, but also um, some boxes like these. Okay, didn't mean to body slam there. Very surprised I didn't take a hit. Uh, could I? Yeah, there we go. Oops. Hmm, not really sure how that worked. That was weird. Alright, so I'm gonna try to hit this. Yeah, nice. I blew that up with my enhanced body slam without getting hit by the TNT. 
And now, I, this is another section in which I don't really know the uh, backtracking quite as well because I haven't put a lot of time into it. So, another spot that would be prime for a lot of practice before uh, the event. Yeah, see, like, like that kind of thing. I, I just took that a little safe. There we go. We got our gem from there. We got all the boxes. Now we're moving on. Now, because I did that, that I moved all the way up here and got those boxes and then did the backtracking, I now don't have to do any backtracking from that gem platform. Just makes it pretty convenient to do it that way. Another bonus platform. This is probably the worst of the bonus platforms because it involves a lot of body slamming. I would maybe do like a donation and uh, not incentive, but you know, a little do fun donation play along a long thing where uh, I donate for every body slam or something like that. And, and then this would be like a, a pretty good joke bonus. Like, oh no, I forgot about this bonus. <laughs> Just like body slam all over the place. Sounds like it'd be a fun thing to do. You can grab a hob slide off of this. Just for that little bit. Once again, these boxes, the uh, dinosaur will take care of. I'm gonna try to get a hob sled here. Oh, nice, I got it. That's not something I always get, and it didn't matter much because I messed it up anyways. But. And grab that, and move on. Once again, you really don't want to miss those gems <laughs> on your, uh, like, I, I've, it's a pretty bad mistake if you walk right past that gem and have to, um, have to redo the whole level. Now we're going to go back into this level and do the time trial again. Uh, our masks don't really matter at this point. Nice. They're going to matter again pretty soon, but, uh, we're about to go into some more levels that take away your masks, so... Uh, and there aren't, there's only one in this level anyways, even in the time trial. So there's no way for me to get back up to two. So we're gonna get this. I'm gonna break this mask. And we're gonna try to hope that these guys are on good cycles and they're not. Okay. I think I have to stop it there. I, I'm not sure. Another thing where I would uh, do a little more testing. Get a backup hob slide back there. Uh, okay. Once again, I'm not really caring about any of these time boxes. Like I'm hitting some along the way, but that's that's just purely a side effect of moving like this. I'm not really trying to hit them. Um, and that's just because going out of my way to save uh, time on the in-game timer. Oh, there are two masks here. Oh. Uh, would lose me real time, which obviously means it's not something we want to do. Get another hop sled off this hill. You're also seeing the, the currents of water. They actually move you forward faster. So I try to stay on those whenever I can. Yeah, see, I got a platinum, so if I went out of my way to get more time boxes, my um, my little, you know, in-game timer would go down, but that would cost me more real time, so. Now, we're going to jump back into that level one more time. Excellent. Once again, just like with Road Crash, this is because there is a secret level hidden inside this one. However, they really hid this one. <laughs> um, it's pretty deep in. I didn't mean to get that time trial, but I, th I think it's fine that I did. I think so. I think it's fine that I got the time trial. We'll find out. Um, they hid this one pretty deep in there. Uh, and you need the yellow gem. It's in the yellow gem path. So, I actually don't know if you can get this with the time trial active. Um, I know you can't get the road crash one, but you might be able to with this one, so. Oh! 
great. Um, yeah, sometimes hitboxes are weird. So that's what really sucks about, uh, about accidentally activating the time trial. That would be something that I would not do during a, uh, marathon run. That's fine. Like I said, there's bound to be mistakes right now. Still haven't grinded out a ton of ILs for this game. <clears throat> but yeah, they hid this secret level pretty deep in, and it's in a gem path. Which is like, uh, I don't know how anyone found this stuff casually. I assume that this one was supposed to be found by accident. <laughs> ah. Okay. That hopslide's actually really hard, because you need to do a higher than minimum jump. Um, most hopslides you just trigger by jumping as low as possible. But not that one. I hate these enemies. They're the band of fishes and they suck. Uh, yeah, that was all a little slow, it's fine. Main thing is just getting to the, uh, the secret exit here, which we're almost at now. And we just get carried off by this pterodactyl. I don't know how they expected you to find this unless it was by accident, so. This takes you to Agapus Rex. Agapus Rex is a weird 2D platforming stage <clears throat> where you use our boy Baby T here and uh, and get to just do a lot of platforming basically. It's surprisingly easy to like mess this up so I tend to focus quite a bit during this and the time trial is fairly tight because there's not a whole lot you can do to speed this one up. Ah crap. Don't kill me. Damn it. Yeah, once again, I don't know the cycles all that well yet. I will, though. Um, now that I've died once, the cycles are going to be slightly different. Alright, maybe they're not that different. So I need to make sure I don't make the same mistake as before. I'm gonna wait on this cycle. There we go. That's all I needed to do last time. I just uh, didn't really notice. Okay. It's fine, we didn't need him. Alright, cool. We made it by two seconds. <laughs> Got a little scary at the end there. That's, uh... Yeah, that's something where I need to work on the cycles. Like I said, that's fairly tight in terms of the time trials, um, but it's very fast, so. You don't have to go into that level again because like the others, you can do the time trial immediately. Like the other, you know, non-crystal levels, that is. Now we enter high time. Uh, the first pass through high time is going to involve trying to just make some nice cycles, um, break all the boxes. Nothing, like, too special going on here. This is a very difficult level in any percent because of the cycles we're trying to make. Oh, hey, I made that. I don't normally make that. That was really nice. Oh, God, that was close to getting me killed. Um... But uh, when I do the time trial here, it's going to get a lot more interesting. It's going to get a lot harder. <clears throat> We're going to step onto the bonus platform do this one. I think, yeah, this bonus pl platform's okay. I still don't know, like, uh, perfect strats for this yet. Just some ones that I've kind of improvised over a few runs. Alright, not ideal there, but that was fine. And now, coming up pretty soon... Hey, nice, the cycle's worked out for me. There's a death platform right there. I'm going to specifically skip it right now. Because we're actually going to do that death platform at the same time as the time trial. 
and that is probably the hardest, the single hardest time trial in the run, um, because of the way we do it. And I'll talk about that more on the next pass back through here. Hit this TNT. Bounce off this guy. More TNT. Nah, you, I'm sure you can make that cycle if I were a little bit faster. Alright. Now we're going to hop out, hop right back into this level. Uh, the boss portal is going to have spawn now, so it's really important that I get this uh, jump in here. Good. Got it. Once again, that's just delaying the boss for a little longer, so that way we can uh, we can save that little bit of time. So now, this is the hardest time trial. I need to get a 104-10. Uh, and I need to get a mask and keep it. So there was my mask. Um, I think I've been okay so far, but very difficult. Alright, good. Ooh, that was close. Barely make this carpet cycle. Now we're gonna get on this death platform. So now there's no more time boxes for at this point. I've only gotten like two or three, um, but there's no more from this point on. I hope I didn't miss a three time box back there. I wasn't paying too much attention to it, so. Okay. Super scary. <clears throat> so I need to get there before 104. Getting close. All right, nice, I got it. By only like a second and a half, and that was damn near perfect. So, <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm honestly not sure why that didn't gold. Um, I think that gold is actually incorrect. <laughs> like, I think I actually need to go delete whatever gold was there, because that was so, so good. And now, on top of that, I kept a mask. That's really important, because this boss has a strat uh, that involves a damage boost in it. So this becomes a very fast and super cool boss. I'm actually going to basically skip at least a portion of every phase. So you can see, that time I just jumped straight to it. Then I jumped to this row specifically so that I don't get insta-killed. Now I wait for him to become vulnerable, spin him, and I'm going to line myself up. Wait for him to shoot his first clock and jump over it. Now slide out into the void, take a damage boost, double jump, and spin him. And there we go. But your soon will be Completely skipping a large portion of the third phase. Never see a single laser. He normally, you know, shoots a bunch of lasers and stuff. So that was a really good level. All right, now we're gonna go back to deep trouble. So, now that I've beaten that boss, I get access to Death Tornado Spin, which allows me to keep my spin going much longer. Um, and that gives us some cool speed tech, but it gets rid of hob sliding. Uh, so that's why we did some levels earlier, um, because they are faster with hob sliding. But there are a lot of levels that are faster with mock tornadoes, so it adds a lot of cool variety to the run. Ooh, all right, whatever, it doesn't really matter. I kind of messed this up a little bit, but that's fine. Getting the uh, getting the relics for the uh, underwater levels is pretty easy. Not something I would expect to mess up. So, coming off of the high of the purple gem one cycle and the boss um, strats, we would potentially read donations here. There's a lot of tight cycles I can make um, if I, like, had done the opening better. 
but because I kind of did the opening poorly, I can't really make all the cycles I wanted to make. Which is not a big deal. It's only minorly slower. Thank you everybody who's been popping in with the good lucks, by the way. So now you're going to get to see what a mock tornado is. It's like a hob slide, except I can use it on flat ground. But it doesn't go forever. It goes for a short distance. <clears throat> There's another piece of tech that I haven't explained at all in this run, which is that when I swap characters while entering a portal, I skip the animation of swapping characters. That's something I would have explained back in the beginning. Probably had my couch take care of. Try to remember when you're uh, focused on so many things. Uh, I think I can beat that, but we're just gonna wait on it, play it safe. So this is this jet ski level. Um, we actually can't get all of the boxes during the time trial like the previous one. Uh, so we're gonna do it now. Oh, that guy's RNG. As far as I'm concerned, that's random. I have no idea. I have never known how the uh, birds work. I'm pretty sure it's just random whether he jumps high or low off of the box, and it is my fault in that I should have noticed that he jumped low. I kind of did notice, and I kind of just wanted to see, to be honest, because I don't. it doesn't happen very often, so I wanted to see if I was correct, but um, yeah, he doesn't come back either when he, he gets you once. That's It's weird, man. Uh, that's gonna make all these cycles different. I'm gonna have to improvise and miss a box because of it. Turn back around. Yeah, so we're just gonna have to react to cycles as, uh, as I see them. It's looking like I'm getting a favorable one here. So I think I can get out of this island and... Uh, am I gonna get hit? Okay, no, barely didn't get hit. I can't remember if it matters whether I keep my mask here or not. I think it does, um, because I'm pretty sure this is the last vehicle level. We're gonna we're gonna come into this level twice, but I think after that, I think we're done with vehicle levels for a long time, um, and then we're almost completely done with them. So I think this is the gauntlet where I need to keep as many masks as possible. Another one of these jerks. See, that time he didn't hit me. Uh, then we need to turn around. We have to come over to this ship and grab five boxes over here. This is the main reason why we can't do this during the time trial. Uh, like, why we can't get all the boxes. It's because of this whole long deviation over here. None of these are time boxes in the time trial. Um, so, it just makes it impossible to do. Don't hit me. Thank you. Playing it a little safe here. There, I've, I've slowed down several times throughout this level because, like I said, I'm not I'm not used to the death cycle. I haven't like sat down and practiced it, um, so I'm kind of just reacting to cycles as they show up. Also, I would want to play this, you know, a little safe for the marathon, but as long as I'm on the proper cycles, I would actually not be slowing down very much at all in this level. Slow down a little bit there just to make that turn. There we go. So that death was unfortunate, but like I said, I'm pretty sure that's RNG, um, whether he he like hops high or low off of the box. I've never been able to find any other explanation for it. And uh, so I would just be better at paying attention to whether he jumped high or low. Nice, and we got back in the portal again. Very important that I left that level with one mask. So I'm gonna enter the time trial and I'm gonna try to get at least one mask during the time trial. And uh, I think there's actually two in this, in this time trial. And then uh, keep that mask. 
for the next levels. Gonna ignore that time box over there because while it would be nice if it, it's just too out of the way. Alright, you're gonna jump higher or low. I don't trust you. <laughs> I've I've lost all faith. We're just gonna skip that time box, it's fine. Yeah, so there's our first mask. We're gonna grab a few extra time boxes here because like I said, I haven't grinded ILs yet, but ordinarily you could probably skip some of these. Well, you could probably skip a lot of them, actually. But they're not too far out of the way either. Like, I'm still not gonna go out of my way too far for one. Like, I'm not gonna slow down for that bomb. Just gonna get the ones that are pretty nicely on the way. I'm not even gonna get this three second time box. That way I can just do that turn a lot smoother. This would be a uh, prime spot for donations. I do like that the donations are pretty spread out throughout this run. Um, like, fairly evenly spread out, I would say. Just pretty convenient. I'm gonna get a second mask here. Maybe get hit. Hey, I didn't get hit. Nice. I thought for sure I was gonna get hit there. <clears throat> now that I don't have to get this crystal, I can actually just, like swoop through here much easier. It's really nice. Unfortunately, these bombs are on a weirder cycle. It's again, playing it a bit safe, getting some more time boxes. Yeah, I'm, I'm good on the time now. I believe the time you want to beat here is 1.35, so you can see I played it really safe. That's also the longest level, well, that's the longest level in the any percent run normally, uh, so it's a very long level, but it's, uh, there are, there is a longer level now in 108, but the longer level in 108 is a lot more interesting. So I have, uh, I have a mask with me, I'm gonna be able to pick up a second one in this level, and, uh, very important that I try not to lose either of these masks. Uh, this level they decided to do the troll thing of making you turn around at the beginning for those four boxes. Uh, now you're really getting to see how mock tornadoes are used. Um, I think I have to wait on this door. I might be able to make that normally. That's something I would grind out and try to uh, find out. Do a sexy little dodge of those uh, those darts there. Wait on the store, and then we let the TNT blow all those up. Oh, that's unfortunate. I really didn't want to lose that mask. Oh well, that's gonna lose us some time in another level get to skip this uh, plat this moving platform altogether, which is really fun. Difficult to do, but not too bad. Uh, it's something I'm very experienced in for many percent. And now we get another bonus platform. <clears throat> this one has some cool strats to it. Uh, like, uh, well, I'm supposed to bounce off that first thing. Come down here, do a body slam, and then I think it's like right here. Oh, that sucks. So, ideally, you blow that up without losing the mask. You have to be just at the right range. Um, but, hard to know exactly where that is. Alright, now that TNT will blow up the other TNT, which will blow up everything. Lost two masks there, that's really unfortunate, um, but hey, what can you do? <clears throat> I 
The main reason that I wanted those two masks is for a triple mask in this next level, because we're actually not going to go right back into that level. We're going to finally come back to warp two, which we left, you know, way earlier. Uh, I would want to do three masks. I would want to have triple mask here because the uh, the hanging bar sections, the monkey bar sections, are significantly faster with triple mask. You'll be able to see in the time trial what I'm talking about, but I'm not going to be able to do it in this first pass through the level, unfortunately. I can still skip some corners and stuff, which is nice, though. I'm also going to be able to skip this uh, hanging bar section completely. Uh, and then grab those. Mock Tornado here. Um, huh. <laughs> I guess I was in the front of that box. You can tell the, these levels are a little less polished for me. Ah, wanted to hit that guy. These spinning boxes will actually turn into metal boxes if you leave them there for too long. Not really something that you worry too much about when, you know, speed running. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, like I was saying, this is kind of the gauntlet of every mask is really important. So losing that mask, eh, kind of sucks. Oh, I messed this up. Here we go. That's another bonus where uh, it needs a little bit of work. I used to have a good bonus strap for that um, when we did it earlier, but now that we have Death Tornado Spin, it changes how that one works a little bit. And so uh, I would just need to spend a little bit of time making it more interesting. Completely jump over the trampolines there. I only break the bottom box because it's a spinning one, and like I said, those turn to metal. The other one will get broken by the nitro. It's actually a change from the original game. In the original game, nitro wouldn't blow up the boxes around it because the nitro would deload by the time you got to the uh, the button that it explodes it, that detonates it. But um, in this version of the game, they stay loaded, and so you can actually just detonate it normally, or you can like let it blow it up normally. Nice, got back in that portal just as it was closing. And now you're going to get to see how much faster Triple Mask is during the Monkey Bar section. It's it's insane, the stark difference. Okay, that was a little... <laughs> that was a little weird, but we're fine. Oops. Oh, okay. That was... God. That, what is going on with these boxes? Okay. That was all super weird, but we should still be totally fine. Alright, now watch how much faster this is. Yeah. She just flails those arms. It's nuts. So that's why you want to care about masks so much. I think we're fine on the time, yeah. Yeah, I just needed to get a 52 here, so not one that's too close. <clears throat> My throat's starting to dry up. Let's head into Tomb Time next. Tomb Time was the level that I mentioned a lot earlier. Has a purple gem route in it. You can see that there's two gems as we're entering this portal. Um, and we finally have the purple gem. We got the purple gem from uh, High Time earlier. So now we can come here and we can actually get everything that we need to get. Okay, the spacing's gonna be a little weird, but it's fine. We'll just kill that alligator. No big deal. Is it alligators or crocodiles in Australia? Who knows? Mock Tornado's great for these long distances. Um, 
you use them all over these Egyptian style levels. Alright, now bounce, bounce. You can break these boxes. Messed it up a little bit there, but you can break those boxes um, without having to bounce on them, which saves a lot of time because bouncing is pretty slow. Oh! Huh. <laughs> Alright. I guess I just got my depth mixed up there. Uh, luckily you get checkpointed at bonus platforms, so that's a pretty convenient place to die if I was going to take a death. Also because I already had no masks, so it wasn't compounding anymore. Um, the mask box I just got is where I would like to have gotten triple mask. Uh, I missed a bunch of boxes there, that's because I'm going to do more backtracking. Probably going to get hit here, yeah. Not a big deal. Once again, I'm going to do backtracking, so... Ugh, getting this box is the worst. jump over that gap. Doors stay open from behind, which is really con convenient. <clears throat> because of the death tornado spin, like, stalls you in the air, it's, uh, it takes a lot of, um, practice and time to get good at, uh, get good at making, at, like, breaking boxes that are in midair, um, quickly with the, uh, can I make this? Okay, good. Uh, with the death tornado spin, you need to like make sure that you're not gonna. What am I trying to say here? <laughs> you need to make sure that you're uh, not going to like stall yourself in midair and just hang there for a while doing nothing. Um, you want to make sure that you're like breaking the box and falling down to the box that's on the ground pretty quickly. Uh, it takes a lot of practice to, to get good at that kind of thing, and I'm still not perfect at it. <clears throat> Alright, heading back in there for the time trial. Nice. Uh, once again, that was my sub notification, so thank you to Matamata Malix for the resub. Very much appreciated. Uh, this oil is actually slick, um, which means you could slide on it. The best thing to do with the oil is just do like just spam slides, since you actually kind of it gets rid of the uh, the problem with normally spamming slides, which is that uh, your slide has like an ending animation. So, once again, I let I just had two masks when I ended the portal, entered the portal right there, but I didn't enter this time trial with two masks. I only entered it with one. So, I am only going to have one mask when I leave here. And there you go. So, ideally I would be entering this next level with two masks so I could get another uh, triple mask, but unfortunately I made mistakes. Mistakes compound in this run in that way. <clears throat> That's why I'm pretty confident I could lower my time by a lot. Uh, 
um, if this uh, were to be accepted and I grinded out ILs and stuff. Just work on that consistency of not losing the masks. <clears throat> Alright. Is this one of the cool bonuses? Oh yeah, that's another one that I, I'm not uh, confident in how to, what the strats are for doing it quickly yet. Um, but I am going to do this, which is pretty neat. Uh, there we go. Messing up my inputs there a little bit. Completely skip all of those boxes at the end because the nitro will blow up all of them. But, yeah, you just don't even bother with the box bridge there. I believe there's probably a hob sliding, or I mean a uh, mock tornado strat for that section, but haven't put in the uh, time yet. Snipe that bug into the uh, boxes, and I can just pretend like I did it intentionally. Which is always a fun <laughs> perk. Alright, get that out of the air, and then quickly get out of the water. Water is instant death. I'm gonna also... Oh! Okay! Losing the masks doesn't matter, at least, but, uh, yeah. Luckily, I was going to... Uh-oh. Alright, had to react there. Luckily, I was skipping that death platform anyways. We're gonna save that for a little later. Um, but water is instant death, and so it's... You have to be, like, really careful about knowing how high the water can get before it'll instantly kill you. Ooh, like that almost killed me. That was very close. I'm kind of surprised I didn't die, to be honest. Um, also, through practice of this, doing this level, you get pretty good at, uh, at jumping on the boxes while they're floating in the water. <laughs> so that way you can just try to save those extra couple seconds here and there. Now for once we're actually not going to jump back into that level before the boss. We're just going to go do the boss. I suppose I could theoretically do that. I wonder if that would be faster. There is a bazooka strat that you use in the Tomb Raider time trial. But I don't know if it would save more time than the two seconds from hopping back in it. Huh. That's something to think about for later. You might need the masks, though. Anyways, this is Engine. So Engine um, is a boss that we actually skip in any percent now. And uh, it's kind of nice that we do because he is one of the few instances of RNG in this game. Uh, which of the, which shoulder pack he opens on any given phase is completely random, unless there's only one left. So, really glad that I was able to shoot that left one down, because now I can hit the right one while I was shooting the right turret. I didn't quite do that as fast as I could have, um, but it's been a while since I practiced this boss. Uh, and now in the second phase here, the important thing is just trying to hit as hit multiple of these shoulder packs whenever I can and breaking one of each of these arms whenever they open up because all of the shoulder packs close whenever the arms open up. Whenever you break one of the shoulders, um, it instantly opens another one. So it's always good to just keep a very fast flow there. Alright, and now we go into Bye Bye Blimps, which is probably the fastest level in the run. It's certainly the simplest. And, after we've done our two passes through this, we are completely... No, we're not. <laughs> after we do our two passes through this level, we're done with vehicle levels for a while. Um, we're all, But we're like, we're mostly done. The last couple vehicle levels after this one are both very interesting. Um, this is... Donation City right here Because all it is is I have a very specific route That I take um, I actually don't know the best route I probably need to to look up a better route or like spend some time with it, but I Have the route that I take 
Uh, other than that, it's just good aiming. And having a good internal clock of, like, how many bullets you fired. So that way, uh, you can turn away after you've fired enough projectiles, even if they all haven't landed yet. So that way you can start getting a straighter line on the next, uh, objective. I aim really high up there, so that way I can hit the last box without, uh, hitting the blimp. Alright, and uh, we're gonna jump back into that portal as it's closing again. Again, this is this is a good spot for donations. This time I'm doing the time trial, so I'm not even gonna worry about the boxes. Uh, Twitch account in chat, you can um, you can look at my any percent record. For, uh, to see the gate clip, how it, how we use it to skip bosses, which you can find on speedrun.com. Okay. Like I said, not a whole lot to this level. We still do the gate clip in 108%. We did it at the beginning of the run, but uh, we don't do it. Yeah, we don't do it in to skip bosses. All right, <clears throat> those boring levels out of the way. We are now into a lot of platforming levels in a row, and this is, I would say, like from here to the end of the run is probably like some of the hardest stuff. Um, because masks can potentially matter again. Uh, they don't matter here, so yeah, I think I might reroute Tomb Waiter to be earlier. Um, masks can potentially matter again, and uh, and also just all these levels are difficult when you're trying to do the fastest strats. Uh, I already messed up here, so I'm gonna have to forego the God cycle. Um, but that's fine. Oh, that's right. The God Cycle doesn't matter that much anyways, because uh, the cool thing about the end here is that the routing is very interesting in a lot of the, the levels at the end. Um, okay, that's not ideal, but whatever. Because I get to do a lot of one cycles where I'm combining this path with the time trial, like we did in high time earlier. Um, and then in Sphinxinator, I'm going to do the same thing. There's a lot of that in these later levels here, so it's super cool. And there's a lot of uh, skipping over portions of the water here, which I think is awesome. It's very difficult to do. Here we go. I'm going to use the bazooka here to hit... Eh, okay. <laughs> I used to hit that door so that I didn't have to worry about it, but, like, that didn't go very well, so it was weird. But we still uh, did the one cycle. <clears throat> From here to the end also is where I would work a lot on my consistency. Um because these are the sections that are easiest to lose time in. Uh, since there's a lot of time trials from here on out, if you ever die in a time trial, you have to do the whole thing over again. Uh, so again, I just work a lot more on consistency if this were to be accepted. All right, here we go. Again, I'm not going to worry about time boxes unless, you know, I have to. Don't want to go out of my way for them. I'm going to have another one cycle here. Dodging those darts one more time. It's the 
you like those, I can just grab those time boxes, because why not? But I don't actually really need them. Whoops. That was an accident. But yeah, we're going to take this path, which required the blue gem that we just got from Tomb Waiter. And uh, this is a, a path where you slide a lot. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, I almost took a hit there. Alright, and I swear this last uh, monkey was like he trained to be a Navy SEAL or something because he hits me so often. Momentum is weird on the oil and it'll kind of lock your direction a little bit. So it's uh, it's a little trickier to move through that whole section than, than it looks. All right, now we're going into warp five. I believe we completed, yeah, we've completed almost everything from all of the main warps. Um, we have a little bit to do from warp five. And we have a little bit from warp one. Um, but other than that, it's just warp six and future tense. I guess we have, we still have like the majority of warp five, but. Bug Light is one of my favorite levels. It is a prime showcase for mock tornadoes. And I've always liked the theming in this game. This TNT will blow up everything. It's awesome. All right, now I'm going to try to do a strat here where I activate the bazooka at the same time as jumping so that I can fire it into those boxes. Um, while I take a damage boost on the door to force it back open instantly. A very cool trick um, that I probably would have started explaining a little bit further ahead of time. Now I'm going to activate this checkpoint, grab these three masks, and then turn around. Oh crap. I did that really slowly, but if I'm lucky, I'll be able to uh, still get past this door cycle up here. Triple mask holds doors open. Okay, yeah, no, we're screwed. So I'm gonna have to wait on this door cycle. Oh well. <laughs> if I had done that properly, I could have skipped the door cycle though. Now, I don't have the green gem, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna extend my death tornado spin there. To, uh... Get over that gap anyways, which is really neat. Another technique that I would probably explain in a little more like a little more in advance. <clears throat> I play this part a little safer right now than I normally would because I am still just a little spooked by it. But more practice would come out that would uh, allow me to do that section a lot faster. Also, bang in music in the uh, death route, gem routes. One small piece of tech that I haven't explained, whenever I'm on one of these elevator platforms, I try to jump into the center of the platform so that it, it moves, uh, so that it doesn't have to reposition me. And then on top of that, I try to move so that I cancel my landing animation uh, so that it starts moving instantly. I took an intentional death there so that I can finish the rest of this level because I still keep that gem. You can see it's there in my inventory at the bottom of the screen. Now that I have this triple mask, there's a door cycle that I really want to... that I really want to use the mask to hold open. I've messed up a little bit, so we'll see if I can still make it... Alright, well, I made it. <laughs> But I made it by getting hit. That's not ideal, but oh well. Mm -hmm. Alright, now this bonus kind of neat. Break gigantic stacks very quickly, and then break these. Body slam. And mock tornado over this guy. Very fast bonus. I really like the bonus platforms, they're pretty neat. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now, ordinarily, I would actually take a damage boost off of that guy to force this door open, but because I lost one of my masks earlier, I want to hold on to it. A few risky uh, mock tornadoes at the end here. And there we go. All right, so we're going to head into Flaming Passion next. This is probably casually one of the hardest levels in the run. Um, it is one of the Arabian style levels uh, and it has a lot of pits all over it so <laughs> it's very difficult normally. But I'm gonna try to do it as quick as I possibly can, make some cool cycles. Uh, it does have a death platform in it so if I make any mistakes after hitting a checkpoint, I'm gonna like if I take a death rather after hitting a checkpoint, I'll have to restart the level. Uh, woo, I had to react there, because my slide got eaten by the boxes, but luckily I reacted in time, and I think we're even still on pace for the same cycles that I want to make. Eh, it's going to be close, we'll see. Alright, well, <laughs> that hurt my chances. Cool strat here. I'm gonna break this checkpoint and then bounce up here, completely ignore this guy, and do that climb in a super sexy way. Now, Bazooka to break that one box, because that's gonna avoid the need for backtracking. We're gonna do this death platform. Ah. Alright, well, that's unfortunate. I don't get to do a damage boost later, but that's okay. Like I said, these later levels are ones where I would work a lot more on the uh, the strats and the consistency. Like, doing that Mock Tornado there was probably slower. The one at the end definitely was, but even the second to last one. <clears throat> Since I broke that box earlier, with the bazooka, I didn't have to worry about doing any more backtracking than just those eight boxes that were sitting there. Now, there's a kind of funny um, trick about this level. There's no nitro detonator in either this level or level 21. And you can see there are nitro boxes here in the bonus. So we actually have to break them as we go. And we have some kind of fast strats to do that. Um, I'm going to try to do a pull out my bazooka as I slide spin there. Uh, I messed it up. I... I got the trick, but then I messed up my aiming. <laughs> then I'm going to try to hit that one. Alright, good. I've been messing that up lately, so glad I got that. And then normally I would damage boost through these last ones so I didn't have to aim up like that, but unfortunately I lost my mask earlier. Uh, taking this a little safe. Alright. <laughs> I just wanted to body slam for reasons. Just to, just to do that. I don't know. Now we're going to hop back into this level and do the time trial. Time trial should look even sexier with uh, being able to move quickly. There's also a triple mask in the time trial, which is convenient. Uh, okay. So you can barely still make it sometimes if you Rush. if you touch the button. Um, so luckily I, I still got that one, but very tight timing. So yeah, now let's uh, do the time trial. <clears throat> this is something where I would definitely have my couch commentators talking during this level because it's pretty difficult otherwise. My cycles here were a little weirder than I was used to, so playing that a bit safe. Nice, got rid of him. And triple mask. So now that I have triple mask, I just don't have to worry about any of these enemies at the end, which is really convenient. Probably should have done a mock tornado there. Like I said, still a little... Oh, hello! Alright. 
I accidentally pressed jump too late. That's unfortunate. So you can see the uh, risk with time trials. You have to do the whole thing over again, since there's no checkpoints. So that is uh, the problem with going for fast strats during them. die this time. Okay. I'm playing this a little safer now, even though this is where I died. Alright. Unfortunate time loss there. Probably lost me around a minute. Perhaps a bit more. Um, yeah, a little over a minute. But I think that's maybe been the biggest mistake so far. I mean, there was that and a death in uh, in Tell No Tales earlier. So, not too bad overall. Been a lot more minor ones, but not a big deal. And like I said, that's a very hard level. <clears throat> now we get to the time trial here. One small thing about Mock Tornadoes is that um, the amount of time for which they go varies by how um, how many times you press the spin button and by the cadence with which you press it. Um, so I'm specifically using a... Uh, oh, I missed the bazooka jump. It's a frame-perfect trick, but it's same frame. Whoops. So it's not, like, too bad, but easy to mess up in a 60 FPS game. Uh, anyways, I, what was I saying? I, uh, <clears throat> I specifically press, um, spin at a, at a, uh, specific rhythm and a, um, a specific number of times for every situation. So for some spots, I stop them early so that I can start up a new one. Other spots, I want to extend them as far as possible. Um, I should get hit here. There we go. Other spots like there, I stop it right before the end of that hill so that I can start a new one. And there we go. Small mistakes in that level, too. Nothing too major. And uh, now we're going to head into Gone Tomorrow, level 21. This is the last of the uh, normal 25 levels that we haven't seen yet. This is... Oh, no, no, it's not. Sorry. This is uh, one of two that we haven't seen yet. This is the first of, of three future levels. Um, the kind of annoying theme about future levels is that they have a lot of backtracking. Um, and you'll see what I mean in a little bit. But first we open with a lot of mock tornadoes and and breaking boxes. Ah, wait on that now. So we're going to shoot this exclamation point box from far away to spawn these. And now I'm not going to worry too much about breaking um, any of those boxes because I'm going to have to backtrack. So, since I have to backtrack through this, ah, I like to break pretty much everything on the first pass, um, except that, for reasons that we'll get into. So that way, when I do the second pass through this level, I don't have to worry. Now, a lot of these are not being on a nice cycle for me, so I still left them, but oh well. 
Now we take this green gem. Uh, this green gem path takes us to this alternate area. Bounce on the TNT here. Gonna have to wait on this. Four boxes here. And now we hit this exclamation point box, and that is the key for the backtracking. Luckily, it does put us right here at the backtracking section. Oops. Um, but that exclamation point, oops. The exclamation point box spawned those um, one box, basically, right there. And so that's why I left all that for, um, for now. Thank you for the good luck, Benjamin. And now as we proceed back through this section, uh, there is a bonus platform that I left earlier. There's also a B here, so I need to be careful. Alright. Um, just gonna do that for safety. <clears throat> now, there are some cool strats here that I don't really remember. I know it starts with like that. Pretty sure there's a lot of bazooka jumps um, that you can do. Uh, that's not right. There we go. Yeah, that that can probably be cooler <laughs> and faster, but I'll put some time into that and figuring that one out. Okay. That guy wanted to kill me. <laughs> Luckily, uh, whew, barely stopped myself from dying there. <laughs> Reacting like that is, uh, pretty difficult. We're gonna go over these. That was not worth it. I, no! I didn't react that time. I got greedy and, and went for the snipe. That actually sucks. That's a lot further back than I was thinking, or I, I wouldn't have been that risky with it. Oh well. Honestly, it just looks like we have to wait on this platform. <laughs> wait here this time. And we'll just jump around him. Got everything we needed at least. Unfortunate time loss, but like I said, a lot of practice to still be done with all, with all of these levels. Now we're gonna go and do the time trial again. We are getting very quickly near the end of the run here. Good, was able to jump back in. And uh, this time trial should look significantly nicer. There's a triple mask that I want to get in the time trial. As you might have been able to tell, the theme of uh, a lot of these time trials or a lot of the routing is triple masks. I'm dead, yeah. <laughs> I kind of messed up there um, and pressed square before X when I meant to press X first. Not a big deal. The cycles for this level shouldn't matter too much. So, so like this. Again, not focusing much on the time boxes. <clears throat> now that we have two masks, we're about to get our triple mask coming up here. And uh, that'll allow us to plow through a lot of enemies, which is really nice. Okay, I wasn't confident with that one. Yeah, so you can plow right through the TNT, right through all the enemies. You can see why we value triple masks so highly in a lot of these time trials. 
pretty much any level that has like a significant 2D section um, gets sped up quite a bit by Truffle Mask. <laughs> I got my revenge on that uh, that one spiked enemy. I don't know if you noticed, but I like went slightly out of my way to hit him. I needed the revenge, man. <clears throat> All right. Now we're finally gonna go back all the way back to warp one to beat Boneyard. Um, to beat the time trial for Boneyard. Hi. I would like to move properly, please. There we go. This is another thing that I would practice a lot because uh, this used to be the hardest one cycle in the run uh, a while back. I've gotten a lot better at it, but uh, it's still something that I would put more time into. Um, but basically, I'm going to go, I'm going to go down the, uh, uh, the red gem path while doing this time trial, which means during that entire time, I'm not going to have any access to, uh, to time boxes. Uh, I kind of wanted that. Hopefully we'll be fine. I think we will, but... Oh. It's gonna be tight. Uh, and I don't know this backtracking section that much, but... Or, like, that well. But again, I, I would put more practice into this level. For now, I'm playing it pretty safe doing things like double jumps and whatnot um, to get over pits. But the main thing is I'm trying to beat a 140 here. Be real close. All right, we got it. Got it by two seconds. Whew, a little tight. Um, something pretty skill based and difficult near the end of the run. I would definitely practice that and make it so it's not quite as uh, as close, <laughs> but uh, it's still a very. It, it's very cool to look at mock tornadoes happening backwards. I think. And now, now we get into both, like the best and worst part about this run. Um, we're going into Future Tense next, which is a brand new level for Crash 3. DLC level that has been added even since this was last shown at a GDQ. So, um, I'm going to quickly make a save. I almost forgot. Um, this is a brand new DLC level. It is, uh, super cool. Um, but it has one downside to it. There's currently a crash, a game crash in this level, that we are not sure of the inner workings of. Um, it's something that we haven't heard any word from the developers on yet, so don't know if it's going to be patched, but it is one that you can make a save beforehand, and if it crashes, you just uh, restart the game again, and it usually doesn't happen a second time. We're going to pray it doesn't happen here. But we'll find out. Anyways, brand new level. Also, hello. Alright, that was interesting. <laughs> that never had that happen before. Um, so, it's also probably my favorite level in the trilogy. Um, it's insanely difficult in certain sections. Oh god. Alright. And uh, it's got some really cool level design to it. I'm not giving it the best showing right now because I messed up a little bit here, but um, it's okay. We're going to try something a little weird by going up this elevator and then back down it because uh, that elevator is where the game crashes, but not at that point. And we're just going to see if we can 
prevent it from doing so by doing that. I've heard that that doesn't particularly work, but we're just gonna try it. Didn't take a... Oh, I thought I was gonna get hit by that guy, but... Oh, alright, we'll take the damage boost there instead. <laughs> Either way, I was planning on damage boosting there, so... So this is the death route. If I had died up to this point, this uh, would not have... I would not have been able to go here. <clears throat> this is probably the most notoriously difficult part of this level, um, and also has some of the coolest game design. Throughout this entire level, I would probably have my couch commentators talking about it, because I would want to focus so that that kind of thing doesn't happen. Uh, alright. Meant to do a mock tornado there, but no, no big deal. Alright, we are going to pray that the game doesn't crash. The, the point where it does is pretty soon. It is right here. Please no crash. And the game crashed. So, we will restart the game real quick. This is the most unfortunate part about this category. Um, and uh, I, like, I can't really sugarcoat it. It kind of sucks. Activision presents a smashing blast from the past. You'd have to check, Cameron. I'm not sure. Developed by Vice. But you could check in the VOD. Um. Yeah, that's why I made the save. It kind of sucks. Um. I also need to get this fixed real quick. 2 point back to the game. Alright, um, I didn't mean to switch characters there, but that's doesn't matter, it's fine. <clears throat> now, I've never seen it happen two times in a row. Uh, well, that's not true. I think I have seen it happen two times in a row, but, like, I've never had it, had it happen to me two times in a row, and not with a game close in between. Um... So, it's unfortunate. Uh, the weirdest thing about the crash, too, is that it doesn't seem to happen to people casually. And it doesn't seem to happen if you're in the time trial or if you're not caring about the boxes. So, uh, it's kind of just this one specific instance <laughs> where it can happen. That's why we've had such a hard time diagnosing it. Hey, at least I can do this a little better this time through. He says, and then takes damage. I'm glad we were able to confirm that going up and down the elevator early did nothing for me. I think I would practice more on those boxes as well. Uh, there we go. Um, just breaking them faster and everything. It happens regardless of which character you are, Twitch account, yeah. Um, but yeah, still several months away from the time in the marathon. We would hopefully get a response from the developers or be able to figure something out ourselves in that time.
That's my hope, anyways. Alright, yeah, see, it didn't crash that time, so now you can see the rest of the level. Um, lots of cool, you know, stuff with, like, enemies on ceilings and all that. Alright, so that enemy actually broke a bunch of boxes off screen for me, which is super neat. Super cool bonus here. Sorry, I, I can't talk a lot during this level. I would, like I said, I would have my couch commentators do most of the commentary here. Eh, okay, it's a little close. I'm doing this all a little slowly too. You would probably actually just do this with body slams and damage boosts. There we go. I'm getting rid of this guy because he sucks on the way back up. It's really easy to run into him by accident. Okay, I am kind of surprised I didn't die right there. I hate you, Cam. <laughs> <laughs> it was just my fault. It's just a good bit. <laughs> Alright, another extended uh, death tornado spin up there to completely skip over that section. And now this part is pretty difficult because there is a box that's floating in midair here. Oh, damn it. And I'm still trying to go fast, obviously. A lot of slop on this level. Haven't put a lot of time in practicing it yet. Yeah, so now I gotta worry about these cycles, okay. No, I tried to double jump, but unfortunately I pressed the button too late. Gotta wait on here. Alright. There we go, that's what I should have done last time. And that's the level. Alright. So that was kind of hoof, right? Um, now you're going to get to see what it looks like when done much faster. Because this time I'm going to be able to do the time trial, so I don't have to worry about the boxes at all. <laughs> I saved a lot of time there, even with a game crash. So if we find a way to consistently get rid of that game crash, you can tell this the time of this category is going to come way down. All right, so I'm going to do my best here to uh, give a good showing with the time trial. Oh, uh, that was a little mistake, that's fine. The gold on this one isn't like super free, especially just because the level's still really hard. But it's a lot nicer if you get a uh, triple mask, so I'm going to try to do that. That section's a little awkward. It's very dependent on what cycles you get there. These bees are usually on the same cycle, so that's nice. Oh, really surprised I kept my mask there. Uh, we're gonna... Yeah, alright, cool. I don't need that time. I just mainly wanted to keep that triple mask going. Okay, I think um, I think the platform there ate my jump. A little interesting. Huh, unfortunate. Oops. I think the platform there stopped me from double jumping, which is uh, something I didn't know about. Learning new stuff every day, man.
Okay. Yeah, this is a hard one to talk about and focus on at the same time. Okay, almost died in the same spot. Right. Uh, we'll call that an intentional damage boost. Alright, there we are. <laughs> hey, I even got a platinum, cool. Phew, yikes. Alright. <laughs> a little scary, um, but we're moving on out of the level now. And now we are very close to the end of the run. Um, there are two, three levels left, um, all of which I enter from here. Uh, three levels in a boss fight. And uh, one of the levels we have to do twice, but the other two we can actually one cycle. So area 51 here is our last motorcycle level. And uh, like I said, we can one cycle here. We can get two gems in this level and a uh, time trial. And um, this is honestly like, it's a cool level from uh, like in terms of the motorcycle levels. I like the, you know, the theme with the darkness and all that. and. Uh, it makes it a little difficult to see like what's up ahead, but this would probably be a uh, donation level during an actual um, marathon. Alrighty. Um, just because there's not a lot to say about it other than, hey, I need to take first place and get all the boxes and um, do it all fast enough to get the gold time trial. Um, that's really all there is to it. It's difficult to do all those things, but you know, there's not a whole lot else to say about it. So I'm gonna rest my voice a little bit. Nice. Dodging that cop car is pretty hard. Like, while keeping the boost going. Dodging this cop car is free. Yay! Oh. Motorcycle levels have real solid music. Some of my favorite tracks in the game. But yeah, now that I'm in first place, it's kind of just don't miss any boxes. Uh, alright. Missing that boost was better than missing the box, so... <laughs> that was a little weird, but... I should still be fine on the time. Yeah. I'm still fine. There we go! One cycle. Cool. I used to be a lot worse at that. Hmm. <laughs> like that the uh, UFOs hit your bike at the end here. And now we're coming into Rings of Power. Uh, I am pretty bad about at, at this one cycle. Uh, we will see if I am able to do it, but this uh, next level is very unique. It's another plane level, but it controls like differently from the other two planes. Um, you actually will have to go through all of these rings throughout the level, um, which will boost you if you're spinning, which is really nice, you know, for speedrunning, obviously. But you, uh, also have a break that allows you to help with your aiming. 
uh, because I also want to be getting all the boxes at the same time. And you're still in a race, which of course makes it difficult. Yo, nice, I got all three of those boxes. So I obviously want to use the brake as little as possible. Um, but I do need to use it for aiming every now and then, for like readjusting myself. So you'll see me like kind of small tap it every now and then. <clears throat> All right, I've gotten into first. I'm coming up on the kind of harder section near the end here, where I'm actually going to stop boosting. because aiming these is really difficult. All right, now I'll boost. Hey, we did it. Sick. Very fast level when you do it right. I'm getting, gonna get another gold here, cool. Awesome. Now we're going into the last level of the run, Future Frenzy. So this is level 19, but we're going to enter from level 29, which is just the secret entrance, basically, to Future Frenzy. It's, it's just an alternate entrance. Um, and this this entrance has a bunch of boxes on it. We didn't unlock this entrance until we got 20 relics, I think. Um, which is why we put it off for so long. Uh, okay. There we go. Uh, I think that gets hit by the nitro, but I'm just gonna get it just for safety. So like I said, not super familiar with this category yet. <laughs> I am sure there is a better way to break all those boxes. We got the gem for the secret route here. That's one of the two gems of this level. And we've broken all those boxes all along the way, so. <clears throat> now, instead of going forward, I'm gonna go backwards. Like I said, the theme with future levels is backtracking. Also gonna get rid of a lot of the enemies along the way so I can try to be faster when I come back through here. Need you. I'm gonna grab that checkpoint, I guess. Thought about leaving it, but. Yeah, I have run uh, all three of the games on Insane Trilogy. To answer the question from, tra from chat. Alright, so this is another section where I am going to be taking this pretty slow and safe. Whoops. Um, but if this were to be accepted, I would be. I would learn all of these cycles and be able to take it a lot faster. Make it look a lot more interesting. For now, I'm just playing it safe because I'm not too familiar with it. And I believe that is the last of the backtracking. So now we need to forward track back through the level. Play this all a little safe. There we go. Really don't want to die during the backtracking, so. Oh, I could have done mock tornado there. Cool. Nope, for next time. I know I can do one here. And for a bit of that. All right, now we're done with all of that backtracking, and we're back to places where we might have to break boxes and stuff again. Conveniently, there's a checkpoint right there. Pop that TNT. Keep moving. Uh, all right, that was a little slow, but not a big deal. Get on this bonus platform. This is another bonus platform that I need to uh, put some time into. I believe there's some sweet bazooka jumps and stuff you can do here. Um, but don't really remember them, so... For now, we're just going to not worry about them. 
Ooh, okay. You actually can fall in that tiny little hole between the, uh, the bonus platform and the regular platform. I have done that before. It really sucks when it happens. Okay. Get some quick slides under there. Uh, whatever. Nitro will break both those. And there we go. Now we just got to do the time trial for this, beat the final boss, um, Dr. Cortex, and then pick up our final gem, which is the 108%. That's where we end the timing. <clears throat> now the time trial should look a lot nicer as long as I keep the, um, as long as I get triple mask, so. Nice, got in the portal as it closed. <laughs> Alright. Should be able to uh, do this pretty quickly. I would love to get a redemption too since I messed this level up at uh, AGDQ 2018. So doing the relic pass here would be a nice little like a uh, redemption attempt. Well, unfortunately, I don't get triple mask now. Um, that really sucks. I thought I thought I was gonna bounce off that guy, but oh well. We'll make do. That's gonna um, cut out a lot of mock tornadoes that we could have done otherwise, but. <laughs> I'm having to improvise a lot more now that I lost that mask. Sure, that was all fine. Pretty sure we're still completely fine on time, but oh! Hmm, another instance of my double jump not coming out. That's fine. Game just wanted me to be able to get triple mask here. No big deal. Ooh, that guy was a little close for comfort. Fine then. Yeah, screw you, dude. All right, we're just gonna break every box there except the one that matters. Unfortunately, these cycles are different because of the, uh, death. Uh, okay. <laughs> that was just a little weird. Didn't trust it the first time. Alright. Unfortunate mistake again, but that's okay. Go into the final boss now. So as you can see as we're wrapping up this run, I'm gonna PB by like a really large margin here, and uh, there's still plenty of slop to be, um, uh, to be, you know, eradicated from this run. So I would be expect to be able to bring my time down by a lot. Um, I mean, hell, even just with the uh, future tense crash there, we lost, you know, somewhere on the order of five or six minutes from that. Um, 
so I'd be hoping to uh, bring my time down a lot by the time of AGDQ. I know this is a little long for platformer, uh, for like a lot of platforming and stuff, but I firmly believe that it's like worth the watch. I think it's super exciting, and I think it could uh, do a good job of keeping it entertaining throughout. Um, and uh, so I hope you do consider it. This final boss, uh, there's not a whole lot to it. What Everything the masks do is a set pattern, um, except for when they follow you in the third phase, which means that you can manipulate it just fine. Um, where Cortex throws his bombs, he will always throw them in the same horizontal location, uh, but the vertical location, or rather like the Z axis, where how far he throws them along that um, axis, is random, so I just have to react to like where he throws them. You ideally want. Mm, uh, that was okay. Yeah, that was that was a fairly good pattern. You uh, you basically just want to be able to hit him as far left here as possible. Bam. I like just messing around in this while uh while waiting, trying to do some struts, which is the hardest. Tech in that. Oh. oh, you know what? I just realized I have a dead zone increased on my steam rebindings here because of Ori in the Blind Forest, so I probably can't strut. That's kind of funny. Oh god, I almost died. We're fine. Don't throw it short. Okay, he threw it short. So now I gotta wait for him to come closer to the center so I don't blow up from the bomb. There we go. Now we mash through the cutscene and credits here. It's a little unfortunate that we don't get to watch the cutscene or the credits here. Um, don't like get to end it on that. But, I mean, for a marathon we wouldn't be watching them anyways. So now we're going to get our final gem here. And that is time. So, yeah. Uh, I hope you consider this run. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to also put this on YouTube so anybody who's watching it and... Uh, doesn't care about GDQ submissions, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, but I think it's a super cool run with the unfortunate fact of the game crash, but it's pretty quick to get back into the game again with the load times being severely reduced and all that. And um, I really, we're going to be doing a lot more experimentation, so I hope that we find a way to avoid that game crash by the time of AGDQ anyways. So, thanks for watching.